Hey, welcome to another show. I'm Comma Man. That's who I am. I help separate words. That's my job. All right, today what we're going to be covering is putting a comma in a series of verbs. Do you know what a verb is? A verb is an action word. For instance, jumping, dancing, crying. Comma Man doesn't cry. Anyway, let's get back to the story. We need to be able to figure out where to put the commas. First of all, let's read the sentence. Monkey waves cheers at shouts. What in the world? Waves cheers? That's a silly word. Monkey waves cheers? That doesn't make sense. We need to be able to put a comma in there somewhere. And so how do you put a comma in a series of verbs? There's some rules. Let's take a look at the rules first. A series of verbs is three or more verbs that appear together in a sentence. Use commas after each verb in a sentence, except after the last verb. All right, now that we got the rules, let's take a look. How many verbs do we have? So what I like to do is underline the verbs. We have waves, cheers, yeah, go team, go, and shouts, hey, over here, that's comma man, okay? So what we need to do is put a comma after every verb, except for the last verb. Okay, here we go. Do we put a comma after this verb right here? No, that's the rule. We don't put a comma after there, all right? We got the period, end of sentence. All right, let's read it again, see if it makes sense. Monkey waves, cheers, and shouts. Sounds like a very happy monkey to me. All right, let's take a look at the next sentence. Remember, we got rules. Remember, ask yourself the rule. Are there three or more verbs? And then you're gonna put a comma after each verb, except for the last one. All right, let's take a look. Let's find the verbs in the sentence. Dances. All right, I'm a dance machine. If you ever wanna have me come over for a dancing party, I'm a dance machine. That's who I am, comma man. Jumps. That's a verb action. Cheers. Yeah, go team, go. All right. Let's go ahead and put the comma. That's who I am. Comma man. Let's do it. After dances. After jumps. Do I put it after cheers? No. That's the last verb in the sentence. Put a period or keep the sentence going and then you put the period. Don't put it after the last verb. All right. That's a rule. Okay. Let's read it again. The cat dances, jumps, and cheers. Another happy cat out there. All right, that makes sense. Now, there's another question out there. Somebody said, hey, what happens if I just have two verbs? All right, let's take a look at that. All right, I got two verbs, runs, jumps. So if I have a sentence that uses this, do I use a comma? Remember the rule. I only use a comma if there are three or more verbs. It can be a million verbs too, but I only have two verbs here. So what do I do? I use the word and, all right? So for example, the fish runs and jumps period okay the fish runs and jumps probably should have picked a different animal because i've never seen a fish run or jump but i guess they jump out of water but runs i don't know anyway back to the story fish runs and jumps i got two verbs right here one Two, uno, dos, I know Spanish. All right, now, what if I have three verbs? Remember the rule, I use a comma after three verbs. So let's put runs, jumps, and skips. All right, let's redo the sentence. All right, the fish runs. Remember, if there are three or more verbs, we use a comma. Runs, comma, jumps, comma, now the word and, skips. Do I put a comma at the end of this sentence? No, period. All right, hope this helps. If you ever need help, call the comma man, super comma. That's who I am, that's my job. All right, hope you have a good day. Check out all the videos on here. Like always, make learning fun, and you'll have fun learning. 